Welcome to us. I'm Frida. I'm uh, the carpenter, and I also do all this uh, camera things and uh, technician things in our programs. That we start to learning. Uh, we're learning. It's a very big challenge, but... We like challenges. Yes. Charlotte is the florist. Yes. Okay, I've been uh, uh, at the flea market uh, again. And I have bought some really ugly vases, I think, this one. But I think it has a really nice shape, and that's what I was uh, looking for. So I bought this one, and I bought this one, and a surprise one that you see in the end. So you watch the whole program. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to do something interesting with this, so let's start. What we're going to use is uh, the lamb ears. That's really soft. And then uh, the hydranium and the liguster berries and these sunflowers that has faded a little bit, but I think it's still really nice. And then we have the fosichia. Except for the flowers, what will we use? We are going to use some wallpaper glue and some brushes. And I have two brushes because you have to help me, Frida. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. And then we have some uh, uh, glue stick uh, because we use different kind of glue depending on what we're putting on the vases. Now I put out all my lamb ears uh, on something uh, that protect the table since you're going to take glue on it. And uh, I picked them yesterday. I put them in, in a book over the night and put something heavy on it. So now I take the brush and my glue and And I that was the wallpaper glue you use now? Yes, it's the wallpaper glue. And now I take the glue on all the leaves and I think I need some help from you, Frida. <laughs> Ooh. Because this is going to take a lot of time otherwise. Okay. Then you, I have to have some oh, glue. Oh, you have to, uh, yes, here. What happens if the glue comes on the nice side, the, the front side? But that's Will you see it? No, because uh, the, the wallpaper glue is transparent. <laughs> Ooh, perfect. <laughs> this is actually really nice to do with the kids. Yes, because you can do this with kids. Yes, because it's not so advanced, but it, uh, the, the result is really, really effectful. Okay, now we take away this one. Now it's time for uh, covering the vase. So I put it upside down, and I start to put on the leaves on the vase. And I take some small, oops, on the wrong side. I take some larger one and some smaller one to make it um, uh, a little bit more interesting. So uh, now you just turn it around and you just put on all the leaves. Uh, it's a little bit like a roof. Uh, you put it, you start um, the lowest part of the roof and and you work your way up. up. <laughs> yes. Now I'm done with my vase and it's not ugly anymore. At least I don't think so. Uh, so now I put all, all the lamb ears on it and it's going to stay like this even when it dries. So it's going to be a long lasting. But it's boring to only have one, I think. So that's why I bought another one that has a different shape. And I sheeted a little bit, but you cannot see because I'm going to show you how to do it. <laughs> and. Um, I'm going to use hydranium to put on this vase. And I think the structure and the forms really highlight each other. 
Uh, so it's going to be a nice um, combination. Okay, now we're going to start with the second vase. And I took here, I have my hydranian. And I take a scissor and I cut them to pieces. So it's only the small flowers. It has different colors. So I take some green ones and some blue ones. So it's a nice uh, color uh, combination also. And then this time I use uh, the glue stick. When it dries, it doesn't damage the hydranian. Otherwise it gets uh, a lot of spots on it. Do you want me to glue them and you can put them on? Yes. Or maybe you can cut them. And I put, take my vase here and I put it on. You want it backside up? Yes. Please. <laughs> a little bit polite would be nice. Yes. You have to be a little bit uh, careful with the glue stick because so you don't hurt hurt the flowers. of coffee and a few hours later. Yes, and a lot of patience. So now we are done with the vases and thanks Frida. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> now we're done with this one and then we have this one to go to match with it. And then we have the surpri surprise vase because I wanted a, a different shape and this one had a, a different shape. So now all three together, that makes a group uh, with different heights and different shapes. Uh, it's really good together. And if you find a vase that's not actually waterproof, you can just do, take a, a small vase uh, to go in a, in, into the vase, and then you can have flowers in it. So I'm going to put this on a silver platen, and I have a, one here that I bought on the flea market, <laughs> surprisingly. <laughs> and I'm going to put it on the tray. The colors with the silver tray against the color on, on my vases match really good. So now I'm going to have uh, some flowers in it because it looks really empty without the flowers. And now it's the fun part to put the flowers in, but I don't have so much flowers. <laughs> uh, I start with my Fuschitzia that has a really nice form, I think. Frida? I can it, see it. Is it the right direction? Yes. Yes. And when you have such a nice vase like this, you actually don't have to have so much flowers in it because it's nice just as it is. <laughs> and then we have our Liguste here. And I want them to come in a group. So I put them together in a small bouquet. And I just take the secretary and make them the same length and just put them together in the vase. And I want them to be a little bit on the side. I think it's a little bit more interesting that way. So, and then we have the sunflowers here. They actually look very dead short. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> okay. They really look very, very dead. <laughs> But I, I really want the color to go with it. So I do like this and I put it down on the tray. That looks better. 
And then we have some nice uh, plums. Really With the right color? Yes. So you don't always have to have flowers to decorate. It's nice with a tray because you can put different things. This vase, even if you don't have anything, is really nice. The best thing would actually to be to have a big dahlia in it, but we didn't have one today. <laughs> so, I'm gonna take this away. And, ta-da! Ready? <laughs>